Evanston Public Library in the North Branch. It is super nice to meet you this morning. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we are going to start out this morning with a song called Here We Go Luby Lou. So the way we normally do this song is we stand up and then while the chorus is going on, we're singing together, we walk in a circle or skip or hop or gallop. Um, then we stop, do the action, and then we walk in that circle again or skip or hop or gallop, whatever you would like. So let's get started. Put your elbow in and shake it all about. Oh, here we go, Lumbi Lou. Here we go, Lumbi Lou. Here we go, Lumbi Lou. On a Saturday night, put your nose in. Take your nose out. Put your nose in and shake it all about. Oh, here we go, Lumbi Lou. Put your fingers in and shake them all about. Oh, here we go, Lumbi Lou. Here we go, Lumbi Lou. Here we go, Lumbi Lou. On a Saturday night, put your toes in. Take your toes out. Put your toes in and shake them all about. Oh, here we go, Lumbi Lou. story we are going to be reading this book today it's called I'm bored by Michael Ian Black and Debbie Ridpath Owe and I am reading it today with permission from Simon and Schuster <sighs> this poor child she looks really bored doesn't she it's no fun to be bored I think everyone gets bored sometimes but it's no fun let's see what happens in this story let's see what how she deals with being bored. I'm bored. <sighs> I'm bored. Bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. Oh, hey. What am I supposed to do with a potato? <laughs> Ow. <sighs> I'm bored. Hmm? A talking potato? That's interesting. You want to do something? Sure. What do you like to do? I don't know. I like flamingos. Hmm. Don't see any flamingos around here. Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. I'm bored. Um, how can a potato be bored? Ugh. Cause I have to hang out with hang out with a kid. Kids are boring. What are you talking about? Kids are fun. Prove it. We can turn cartwheels. Boring. We can skip. Boring. We can spin around circles till we get so dizzy we almost throw up. Can you spin in circles? Boring. Kids can play games and do ninja kicks. Boring. Boring. We can walk on our hands, see? See? Now I am a famous ballerina. 
Now I'm a lion tamer with the most ferocious lion in the world. Boring. Oh, yeah? Well, now I'm a fairy princess with my own castle and dragons and unicorns and, and, and stuff. <sighs> Snoring. <sighs> Kids can swing. Boring. Kids can jump. Boring. Can you jump? Stand up and jump. Let's show that potato what we can do. Awesome. Boring. Kids can fly. Boring. Kids can do anything. What do you like to do? Boring. How can you possibly think kids are boring when we can do all these cool things and think all these amazing thoughts and we can be anything we want to be? I'd rather be a kid than a potato any day. A flamingo. Ah, <sighs> now we can finally have some fun. I am bored. Thanks for reading that story with me, guys. I think that kid is right. I think kids are amazing. You can do so many things. And do you know what else? I think you're amazing. Huh? Mm, something's happening down here, you guys. Look at shaking. Mm. What? I, I think the potato just came alive out of this book. What, what in the world? Well, hello there, Potato. It's nice to meet you in real life. Oh, hello. Um, so you had a little trouble. You're having a little trouble, huh? You're still bored? Mm-hmm. Did you come out so that you could get some help from us? Mm-hmm. Oh, will you help me stop being bored? Potato, that was such a nice way of asking. Thank you so much for asking in such a friendly way. What do you think, kiddos? Do you think we should try to help Potato stop being bored? Would you like to help him? All right. Thank you, guys. Let's see what we can do to help Potato. Well, Potato, I went through all my library books to see if I could come up with some new ideas and how to stop being bored. Let's see, we already tried spinning, we already tried cartwheels, we already tried ninja kicks, we already tried imagining stuff. Uh, I already annoyed my sister and brother. Okay, um, make stuff. Hmm. What about bubbles? Let's try making bubbles and see if that helps potato. It's easy to make bubble solution. Just take a cup of water and mix it with a tablespoon of sugar. Then add a two tablespoons of dish soap. It works best if you let it sit for an hour. Hey guys, now that you've had a chance to make your bubble solution and let it sit for a little while, I thought we could try it out. So you'll just grab a bowl and pour some of your bubble juice into your bowl like that. And then you'll take a paper tube. Maybe you have some tubes like this just laying around your house. Um, and you'll dip the tube in the end of your solution so you get like a nice shiny film on the end 
and then you'll just blow and you'll blow. Potato, it's time to wake up. We have something to show you. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Let's try it. Oh, not enough to wake up Potato. <gasps> what do you think? Ooh, he looks interested. <gasps> Whoa, I think I see a smile on Potato's face. <gasps> oh, Potato, you look so happy. Do you wanna try? I think Potato is happy now, you guys. Whoa, that was a big one. I love it. Oh. Oh, Potato. I'm sorry that one, that last one burst. It just happens sometimes. That's not it? Don't tell me you're bored again. Um, Potato, I don't know how you can be bored. Bubbles are so much fun. All right, you guys. Potato is bored again by these bubbles. Do you think we should try to help him a little bit more? All right, what if we try to make some really gigantic big bubbles? The recipe for making giant bubbles is a little trickier. Use some water, a little cornstarch, and, and baking soda, some glycerin, and dish soap, too. Let it sit for at least an hour, and stir it once in a while. While you're waiting, make your giant bubble wand. First, find a shallow baking pan, then go outside and find a couple of sticks. Bake them so they fit into the pan likewise. Then take two pieces of yarn. Um, wrap it around the ends of each stick and tie it so it looks like this. This is what your giant bubble wand will look like. It doesn't have to be perfect, though. At first, your bubbles might be smaller and pop quickly, but as you make your more bubbles and play with them, the, smaller, the solution will get better and better until you make bubbles like these. Uh, Potato, is there a problem? I want to play a game with the kids. Okay, Potato, great idea. How about hide and seek? You hide, and the kids will try to find you. Do you see Potato? Three, two, one, here we come. What an awesome hiding place, Potato. What's it like to be in the peregrine falcon's nest? Go hide somewhere else, Potato. This one's a little trickier. Press pause if you need more time. Three, two, one, here we come. There you are. That was a tough one. Ready for the last hiding spot? Where are you this time, Potato? Three, two, one, here we come. Potato, we found you. Thanks for playing. Well, you guys, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're gonna finish up with one last song, You Are My Sunshine. This is a song you need to snuggle with someone with. So you can either grab a stuffed animal to snuggle with, or you can give your, great, your grown up a great big hug and ask them to snuggle with you. Or you can always get your snuggly potato and snuggle your potato while you sing this song. Ooh, potatoes are more snuggly than one would think. Let's see. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. See you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
Bye, thank you for helping me not be bored anymore. Yay! Okay, bye, see you later.